chicken thighs and peaches dish, even when fresh peaches aren't available, and all in one pan. Welcome to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make a very simple, crazy easy dish that doesn't take that long and there's not that much to clean up. There's very few ingredients. One pan chicken thighs with peaches. And what we have in this is about a pound of, and these are frozen peaches, which you can get these anytime obviously, one medium red onion, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of Worcestershire, and a half to three quarters of a cup of uh, red wine. Did I say red wine? No, apple vinegar, apple, apple cider sour. vinegar, okay? Five or six cloves of garlic, we're gonna coarsely chop those. These are fresh from our garden, five or six sprigs of thyme, and a couple of sprigs of rosemary, and about a pound and a half, or whatever it weighs, for about medium-sized thighs. We're gonna have four in the pan, and we're gonna chop these up, we're gonna chop this coarsely, we're gonna chop that up, and we're gonna put it all in one pan, we're gonna put it in the oven, and we're gonna start off, we're put our oven at 350 degrees. So Sharon, every recipe that I saw for this, and there's, there's a few out there, there's some Bon Appetit, and there's a couple on uh, uh, Facebook and elsewhere. What I'm about to do right now is what you should do after you put your chicken on and then come to your cutting board. But since I cook here, I, I don't wanna do that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this up now. Uh, so while you're, while you're cooking the chicken. But since we can't do that, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And we're gonna do a nice, good size on these onions. And about this much. So it will be about four. So we'll get those done. On the peaches, I'm gonna cut these up into, essentially so they're in bite-sized pieces. These are still cold, they're still frozen, but that's okay. The thing I find about frozen fruit is it's really fresh. Now, is it fresher than fresh fruit? It might even be. All right, so we got that ready, we got our onions ready, so we're gonna coarsely chop our garlic. So don't go in this order. Do as I say, not as I do. That's kind of what it is. Okay, so this is coarsely chopped. We're not gonna do a whole lot more to this. I'm gonna run through it one more time. I'm happy with that. All right, so we'll put this away now and then we'll start our chicken. All right, so we're gonna get our chicken with some salt and pepper on it. Some people say to wash the chicken. I, you're probably more likely to get more things contaminated doing that than actually just going from this to the frying pan. And talk about the frying pan, I think I've showed you all this before, but this is, this is my favorite skillet, okay? I want you to look at this thing. This is Sharon's grandmother's skillet. All right, so we're gonna put our burner on and get our pan, not smoking hot, just medium high. So I'm gonna go ahead and you can do this with tongs, but uh, this is gonna work just fine. All right, and I'm gonna wait because it's not sizzling. I want it to go ahead and start sizzling. And meanwhile, I think I am gonna go ahead and cut some of that fat off. We don't need all that. This, got, this dish has plenty in it. And by the way, instead of the honey, you could use some brown sugar. Uh, some recipes do that. Okay, so we got this going. This is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this extra skin and fat off. Salt and pepper on the other side. Five, six, seven minutes. All right, it's been about seven minutes, and I'm going to go ahead. I've checked them. It's got a little brown on them. These are not going to be done. That's, they're going to go in the oven for about 20 minutes. All right, I ended up cooking these a little more than five minutes because I wanted them nice and brown. It almost always takes longer than everybody says in the oven. So we're just going to take, we'll go ahead and put a little more cook on them here. All right, so they're pretty good right now. So I'm gonna take these out, set these aside. Okay, so I poured off some, but it still needed some oil. We're gonna put the red onions in next. We're gonna cook these for about five minutes. We're not gonna add any more salt. We're gonna let these cook for about five minutes. Just get them started. And I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. 
Many believe peaches came from China, then slowly came east. The Latin term for peaches is Prunus Persica, with Persica meaning Persian, essentially Iran. Alexander the Great is believed to have brought peaches from Persia to Europe around 330 BC. Then the Spanish brought them to America. In the United States, the southern climate is perfect for growing peaches, especially in the peach state, Georgia. Peaches and chicken are a perfect combination, and making the dish in one pan is even better. All right, this has been five minutes. We're gonna put the garlic in. We got this looking really good. And I turned it down a lot because I don't wanna burn the fond on the bottom of the pan or the bits and pieces from the chicken. Uh, and I certainly don't wanna burn the onions. And so now I'm gonna put the garlic in, not very long though. And I would say no more than a minute on this. I'm not gonna cook that garlic much more than this. It's fragrant already. That's plenty good. All right, so now we're gonna add in our Dijon. I got two tablespoons of that. Tablespoon of Worcestershire. Two tablespoons of honey. Got about a half cup, third to a half of red wine vinegar. No, apple cider vinegar. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so used to cooking that. All right, so now we're gonna do this a couple of minutes. We're gonna stir this around. I might put a little bit of water in this just to make it a little bit. I wanna make sure we get all those bits up off the bottom. All right, we're very close. All right, it's time to put our peaches in. All right, and now we're going to just nestle, nestle, nestle our chicken in there. Of course, we're gonna pour those juices in. Uh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't put my thyme and my rosemary in there. It should be mixed in, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in here now. And I'm going to stir that around some. And we're just going to do this. We're going to mix that in. All right, we've got our rosemary and thyme in there. And it's time <laughs> to put this in our 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. But we want to check the temperature on these things to make sure they're good. They're at 165. So I cooked this for almost 30 full minutes and I put the broiler on the last couple of minutes. I was at 150 degrees internal temperature, which is of course not enough. We are at 168 right now, which is perfect. You should use a digital thermometer like this list time. It's a very good one. It works just fine. And you gotta check it. Make sure you don't hit the bone. If you hit the bone, just pull it back a little bit and make sure you're not getting the temperature off the bone. But we're good, we're safe. This is gonna be good. Let's have a look at it. All right, let's check this out. Oh, look at that. Look at that thing cooking in there. Isn't that gorgeous? All that heat coming off there. Look at that. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Oh, man, it's good. I'm glad this is not a 14 inch. All right. So we're going to put a little bit of garnish on it. We're ready to taste this. I can tell you right now, if you, if, if I wish you could smell this. Oh, I mean, it just, it smells so good. I haven't had a taste. Watch this taste horrible. No, I think it's gonna taste fantastic. All right, I'm gonna get a bite. All right, I got a nice piece of peach. I'm gonna get a little bit of onion. This has got everything in one bite. Look at that, steaming. In fact, it's steaming. <laughs> this may be too much. All right, you ready for this? Let's taste this. Oh, hmm. First of all, with the skin, the skin is absolutely crispy. The peaches are sweet, the juice is good, the chicken is tender. You can taste the, a little bit of the thyme, not much of the rosemary, but enough. Everything's good, and the, and the skin is nice and crispy. I think the thing is, like I did, I think you should broil it for like about two or three minutes at the end when you're real close, maybe about 162 temperature on the inside. Uh, Go ahead and hit the broiler for about two or three minutes and finish crisping it up. Listen, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe. That promotes my channel. 
if you make one of my dishes and send me a photo there's a pretty good chance i'll put it on my videos and if you comment i absolutely will respond to your comment and i'll see you next time on